Is that good and tight, Vern? An old sucker's gotta come out of there. Hey, you should have talked to Ernest first. If you'd only brushed after every meal, got regular checkups, flossed every day, ate the right kinds of foods, and of course, drank plenty of milk, all this here wouldn't be necessary, would it, Vern? Okay, you ready? Oh, one, two, two and a half, three. Ready to try it again, Bar? WHBQ TV, Memphis. 13 Eyewitness News, The Weekend Report, with Alan Byrne, Stan Saunders, Sports, and the award winning Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alan Byrne. Members of DeSoto County's New Hope Baptist Church are upset tonight over what they saw when they arrived for services this morning. They were greeted by racial epithets, which were spray-painted on the church. Eyewitness News reporter Charles Rattere has this exclusive story. Despite the racist graffiti spray-painted on the church and in the parking lot, services proceeded as usual at the New Hope Baptist Church this Sunday morning until Reverend Sherman Helton introduced DeSoto County Sheriff James Riley. This is the work of some, I would like to say, scum. This is the Lord's house. Amen. Lord's house Amen. That is to be respected. Boy, yes. Boy, yes. They not only come here to try to cut down black people, they have worked against the Lord. Amen. This is his home. Amen. We're going to find out who did this. Despite the references to the Ku Klux Klan, Riley says he doesn't believe it was an organized attack on the church. Is there an active KK unit in, in South Haven? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I feel that this is some young people, probably drunk or doped up. The presence of Van Halen's heavy metal rock band logo seemed to point to youthful vandals. Reverend Sherman Helton, who did not dwell on the incident during his sermon, tended to agree with the sheriff. We have uh, not had any uh, racial type of uh, problems uh, thus far in the seven years, almost eight years that I have been here. About half the church's congregation is from Memphis, the other half is from here in DeSoto County. And while they were upset about the vandalism to church property, they did not consider it a serious racial matter. I believe it's some teenage. Now that's my belief. I rather think it was some young kids playing, you know, and just did this rather than the KKK, because we never had, you know, the, any threats from the KKK in, in South Haven or DeSoto County as I know of. But serious racial matter or not, the sheriff says it is definitely a criminal matter and a reward will be offered through the county's Crime Stopper program. If you have any information, you're asked to call.